so. We waited a couple minutes just to see how I tasted. I only ate roughly 20 milligrams of these pieces, so two pieces. And from my honest review, it got me a little something, but nothing too overbearing. Just if you were, for example, if you're a heavy smoker and you didn't smoke anything in a day, yeah, you could probably eat this and you'll probably feel something. If you're maybe someone that doesn't really smoke too much and your tolerance is very low, I would suggest the actual, actual these, these edibles right here. They're delicious. They're nutritious in a formal way. I just think they're not nutritious. They're just delicious. But other than that, I really can't complain about the gummies. I you don't taste any weed at all. It tastes like mango, not really old berry with chili. I'm gonna take take two more pieces to so make it 40 milligrams. But all in all, it's been delicious. Now, as you can see here on the package, it doesn't indicate sativa, indica, or hybrid. The majority of all these companies now don't really label it too much. They use it, they use more of a hybrid mixture. Because usually when companies label it, they're using an ingredient to make it more sativa, they're using it to make it more hybrid or indica, if it states on the gummy. But these ones, there's no state of anything. Not in the back, not on the front. So the majority of the time, they mostly use a hybrid mixture just to give you the best of both worlds. Not to complicate everything. You can feel a little bit in the body, you feel a little bit in the mind, not too much of everything. Now, for people that are in the mild section of it, that are now don't really smoke too much, I advise you not to eat too many of them. Test with one, or if anything, if you're older, I would suggest you taste test half of it, just see where your body goes with it. Then from there, you can dose it up as how you feel fit. But other than all, it's been delicious. I'm gonna take a couple more. Now, I know probably you're, some of you are probably gonna be asking, is it spicy? No. And I, I have more of a sweet tooth in a, sp in a spicy palate. Now, don't worry wrong, you get a little hint of that little, little zest in there, you know, a little, you know. But other than that, no spice whatsoever. That concludes my path, my final review on a glowing Buddha. Hmm. Sorry. But I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. Thank you for your tuning in to watch a review on this. Next video will most likely be reviewing a vape product, actually a few vape products. So that way when you go to your local store and you do see the product, you know if you'll like it or not. Yeah. I would like to big, give a big thanks to Atrium for letting me sample one of their products. Now, none of this is paid for by Atrium. This is all me. It is just me just having, having a good time. Just to make sure you guys know when you guys go to your dispensaries, you know what you guys are truly getting for. And I want to give a big goodbye to everyone, and I'll see you next video.